Hey, what's up guys? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at NAMM 2023. I'm in the PV booth with Fred. How you doing? Great. Excellent. Well, Fred's going to talk us through some uh, new products that are coming from PV. We're going to start out with the Trace Elliott brand. Yeah. Well, I'm super excited about this TE 1200. It's a 1200 watt professional bass amplifier and it's Trace Elliott through and through. So one of the big differences between our company and a lot of our friendly competitors is that we make the power supply, we make the power amplifier, we make the preamp. Every component in this is designed for the professional bass player. So with this, this is our touring level, touring class. It's 1200 watts of power. It's got preamp in, out, power amp in, so you can slave multiple units together. It's all MIDI foot switch controlled, so all the features here can MIDI out to another uh, power amp and drive a very, very large stage rig. Uh, it's got gyrator EQ circuits in it. Now this is really important because a lot of people remember Trace Elliott from back in the day with the big giant graphic EQs. This is the same EQ circuit that Trace Elliott's always used, just with rotary knobs instead of the, uh, instead of the graphics. It has the famous pre-shape button on it, so all you have to do is press the pre-shape button and it sounds just like Trace Elliott right out of the box. So in addition to that, it comes with rack ears and a bag, so everything you need right right out of the box to get going. The cabinets are also brand new, and we're really excited about these pro cabinets. Uh, this is the Trace Elliott 212, and this is the Trace Elliott 410. These are road-ready cabinets. This has got a coaxial speaker on the high end and an angled baffle, and what makes that really cool is that not only can you hear it when it's on the ground, because you're standing in front of it and it's aimed up at your ears, or if you put them on their sides and these logos turn like that and you have a big stack, you have a super wide pattern for a bass player. So walking across the stage, you get all the transients from the, the uh, coaxial speaker that's got the, uh, the horn driver loaded right in the center of it. Awesome. Um, also, these cabinets are really cool because they're made for the road. So this is a magnetic front. This just goes on like, like that and attaches. Oh, wow. It's got casters and wheels on the back. So all you do is put this on, tilt it backwards, and off you go. Super lightweight, but they'll handle a thousand watts a piece. This is a uh, really stage ready, world-class amplifiers and we're excited here at Trace Elliott. Awesome, cool. So we're gonna jump on over and check out the new uh, Cirrus bases. Yeah, super exciting. So we're really excited to debut these Cirrus bases. Uh, this is something that we've made years and years and years ago, but we found a, a factory in the Czech Republic that is doing a fantastic job with our HP2s, which we launched uh, about a year and a half ago. So we decided that we'd bring back the Cirrus base with some major improvements. So not only is it a seven piece neck, it's got graphite pull, pull trusions through it for a really, really stable neck. We're using our patented VFL pickups, which means a vertical flux load. The difference is the magnet in our pickups is between the two pole pieces, not under them. And what that does is create a much wider magnetic field, which is perfect for bass guitars. So we get a better image of the, the magnetic image of the string when it moves. Um, in addition, we've made some upgrades on the back. We have wood control covers. These are set screws in nuts. These aren't these aren't wood screws in here, so there's no more stripping the screws out. And so we've really made an effort to do these things right world-class Cirrus bases now available at PV Electronics. We're super excited. Awesome. Yeah. So what else uh, do you want to show us? Well, let's go talk about the 6505 because that's okay. probably the hottest thing. Sounds good. Yeah, let's All do right. that. So these are the new 6505 reissues. This is a, a really big deal and we're super proud of these amplifiers. The backstory is when we created the Invective 120 with Misha Mansour, uh, he had brought in his old block letter 5150 we made in, the, in 1992 and he said, he said, something about that sounds different than the 6505 that you have today. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. It's the same amp we've been making since, you know, 1992. And he says, no, it sounds a little bit different. And we're like, no, it doesn't. So he brings his amp in. Sure enough, something was different. It wasn't good or bad, but there was a mid-range growl to that older amplifier that ours didn't seem to have. So we took a deep dive into the, the amplifier and figured out that the output transformers had started shifting. So... From, we've been buying them from the same company for years and years and years, but the specs were the same, but something about the way it was being manufactured wasn't quite right. So we went about finding a new output transformer, which is a big part of the way a tube amp sounds. I mean, it's, it's super important. And we found a new output transformer for this, and then after we were done with this project, we are like, well, now we've got to go back and redo these. So we took the output transformer back into these two uh, amplifiers. This is the the 6505, which would have been the 1992 original. This is the, the first single channel version of it. And then the 6505 which is the, the dual channel, dual EQ version of, of that amplifier. And we've t made sure that we made all the cosmetic changes to make it look as much like the old one as we can. And we added one very important feature, and that's a switching input power supply because of our, a lot of our artists worldwide would 
you know, they'd use our rig and they said, we can't use it in Europe, we can't use right. it. So now it actually has a switch on the back so that it'll do, uh, it'll do 120 and 220 and 240 and uh, right out of the box so they can use their touring rig. So these are fantastic amps, That's a legacy amp for us with uh, some really cool improvements and the people that have heard it and seen it so far are ecstatic Very so cool. we're happy too awesome available and now awesome yep. and then you also mentioned you got some guitars that you want to show yeah us the new hp2s okay. let's check them out cool so here it is the new hp2 super excited about it uh launched the new old stock model about a year and a half ago two years ago to, we sold everyone we could make and uh, this is the next generation of it. We got a really nice flame maple, roasted maple neck on the back with a poplar burl top. Um, many of the features that the, the, old, the older one had, same kind of neck as, as the original HP2. Both of these coils are splittable, fantastic pickups. These are the original pickups that we made in its forefather uh, years and years and years ago. Uh, and these are now available PV Electronics. We've got, we've got the, the blue version, the natural version, and a black version as well. Awesome, Yeah. cool. And then uh, there's some sound reinforcement stuff we're going to talk about too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We we, we like to make things loud, so let's go take a take a listen. Okay. All right. So super excited to launch the PVAQ series. It stands for Aquarius. This is the replacement for the very f popular Dark Matter series. We made a few improvements. We've added Bluetooth audio streaming into it. We've increased the power handling. It's a lot tighter, and we've added uh, some DSP on the back that allows quick selection of different types of presets uh, right from the back. It also has uh, Bluetooth audio pairing for another speaker. You can pair it automatically hooks up in stereo for the, from a stereo input available in a 12 and in a 15. Uh, then we have the PVX series, which we're really excited about. All of these PVX series are semi-weather resistant. Now this is powered. Now the passive version of this, uh, which you also carry, is completely weather resistant. You can put that one outside, but because this has electronics, it's not 100%. But on the back, we have a built-in digital mixer. So there's a small digital mixer, has remote iOS control, so you can take your app and you can mute channels, you can change the EQ from a phone. It's a lot easier than doing it on a smaller screen, but it has a, a two-channel built-in mixer, uh, available mic or line inputs uh, through output, and these are also Bluetooth audio streaming in and pairing remotely uh, with, a, with a stereo pair. They come in a 10, a 12, and a 15, and both of these are flyable. So next we've got these subwoofers. So what we've done is we've created a 12 in addition to the, 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 the uh, 15 and the 18. These all have bass enhancements, Cosmos bass enhancements. It's a proprietary thing that people has been doing a lot for a lot of years. So we kind of guarantee this is gonna have more bass than similar competitors because we add bass into the mix when bass isn't even there. And there's a knob on the back. You have to be a little careful with it though. But so built-in crossover. The coolest one probably in the bunch is this little 12 inch guy because it is not only lightweight, portable, it fits under things, great for installs and all sorts of applications where a big giant box might not be what you want to do. And it also uh, goes on its side. So this is the same subwoofer over here. So it's great for column speakers on top of it as well as uh, uh, speakers like this. Uh, right on. Speaker and a stick. So cool. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm very so excited. Many, uh, yeah. New products. Thank you, Fred. Yep. Uh, and if you're interested in finding out more information about any of these products or any other PV products, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com.